in this problem, we want to identify the domain of the function f of x, y equals x minus y squared. And then after that, we want to determine whether or not the set of points x, y, and r2 such that uh, 0 is less than f of x, y is open, closed, or neither as a subset of r2. OK, so first we realize that f is a polynomial in two variables, and polynomials are continuous functions. So we have then that the domain of f is just r2. It's nice everywhere. And moreover, it's continuous, since polynomial functions are continuous. So that's good. And now we want to look at this set of points where f of x, y is greater than 0. So first note that geometrically, when f of x, y equals 0, we get this parabola opening up to the right, where this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So that the set of points satisfying this inequality are just going to be these. These points here, which is open by inspection, but we want to make sure we're being precise here. So to really see this, notice that, well, given any number, say, lambda positive, we can write, well, we can find a preimage of that point in R2 of f. So that is, we can find some x, y, such that f of x, y equals lambda. Because every number, every positive number has a unique square root, positive square root. So that shows that we have the entire open ray to the right, so that the image of f is going to be 0, I'm sorry, 0, or, sorry. The set of points here satisfying this equation is actually the set from 0 to infinity, positive, which is open in R. And since f is continuous and the preimage of, of an open set is open under a continuous function, it follows that this set is open also in R2. It's a bit roundabout, but that's the way of rigorously seeing that this is true, other than having this nice intu intuitive picture. And that's it.